Hello and welcome to this video about installing a paracord cable onto your gaming mouse. We'll be using the Zowie S2 today and we're going to be applying a lovely white pearl paracord cable from Mastery Gear. Uh, let's start by unscrewing the only screw on the bottom of this mouse and let's open it up. Once the mouse is open you will see two ribbon cables connecting the scroll wheel and the side buttons to the logic board. Just pull them out slowly and you'll be good to go. You can now easily disconnect the old cable so we can get ready to install the new one. For this video I will be using the white pearl paracord cable from Mastery Gear. I choose the white one because it matches nicely with the scroll wheel and the side buttons of the Zowie S2 Divina. On the paracord cable you will find three heat shrinks and we're gonna use the first two to create a stress relief and we're gonna use the last one to finish off the edge of the cable. Simply line it up with the end of the cable and use a lighter or heat gun to shrink it. Make sure to not use the flame on it for too long as it will probably set your cable on fire. It is now time to connect the paracord cable to the mouse. Make sure to use the sides of the connector when pushing it in because you don't want to damage the inner cables. Carefully route the paracord cable towards the end of the mouse using the path that the original cable already had. Most mice have certain plastic pieces holding the cable at its place, like this one. So just push it in gently and you'll be good. Now it's time to create the stress relief on this mouse by simply lining it up where the paracord cable exits the mouse and using a lighter or a heater to heat it up carefully. Again, don't use the flame with it for too long, you don't want to set the cable on fire, you simply want to shrink the heat shrinks. Once you're done, grab the large ring and pull it towards the end of the first one. This one prevents the cable from being pulled out of the mouse. So again, gently use a flame on it to shrink it. The big ring comes with glue on the inside which stays soft for a couple of seconds which gives you enough time to install the paracord and place the stress relief on the right position. Once you are done lining it up, just press it in slightly. I use the screwdriver to push it in a bit more so it stays fit. And when you're done with that, you're basically done. You've just installed your first paracord cable. Now it's time to put the mouse back together. Carefully reconnect the ribbon cables from the top shell.
and that is it just put it back together and you're done use the screw that you've placed aside to reassemble the mouse and you can now enjoy your new paracord cable on your favorite gaming mouse thanks for watching this tutorial if you have any questions make sure to drop them in the comments below or contact us on the website at masterygear.nl thanks for watching and have a nice day